You don't need to put your hands on the wheel to drive a Tesla. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Tesla cars on the road today have picked up a new skill, autopilot. A software update is rolling out to both the Model S and Model X that gives the cars the power to steer itself in traffic and even change lanes without your hands on the wheel. CNET's Tim Stevens took it for a test drive on the busy streets of New York City. With his hands off the wheel, the Tesla monitored the speed of the vehicle ahead of him, so when it slowed down, so did his car, and it could detect lines on the road to stay in the lane. Click your turn signal to change lanes and it'll change on its own when it senses a safe opening. It can also auto park into a parallel spot. This auto steer feature isn't something that lets you take a nap behind the wheel. You need to be alert and keep your hands near the wheel because this can't completely drive on its own. It doesn't see signs or traffic lights and it's early technology. Tesla isn't the first with self steering. The BMW 7 series also has this feature, but if your hands are off the wheel of the BMW for 15 seconds, it'll start to beep. The Teslas can be set to not beep so you don't have to keep your hands touching the wheel the whole time. The update rolls out over the next week to all Model X SUVs and any Model S sedan made since October of last year. Now here's another way to travel in style. JetBlue is the first airline to announce it's making high-speed in-flight Wi-Fi free on all of its planes, and it has the technology installed in about two-thirds of its fleet so far. It's been testing the free Wi-Fi on some of its planes for over a year now, a service JetBlue calls FlyFi, and the plan is to make high-speed service free on every plane by this time next year. Now, every passenger will be able to connect to speeds 12 to 20 megabits per second, enough that you may be able to stream Netflix. But the airline has a partnership with Amazon, so the network will be optimized for Prime members to stream Amazon video and music. And speaking of traveling with Amazon, you will not be able to book a vacation anymore on Amazon. Bet you didn't even realize you could book a vacation on Amazon, did you? Well, Amazon shut down its destination site this week. It was a place where you could book a hotel for a weekend getaway. It competed with similar services from TripAdvisor, Expedia, and Groupon. It was launched in April and only available in a few areas. Amazon destinations didn't last long, but here's something that has, Yahoo Mail. It's been around for 18 years now, and Yahoo has a new email app that doesn't require a password, and you can use it to access your personal Outlook, Hotmail, and AOL mail accounts. When you log in, it sends you a push notification to your phone to verify it's really you trying to log in. The new Yahoo Mail app also pulls in notifications from social media accounts, but it does not sync with Gmail or your enterprise Outlook accounts. That's it for this tech news update, and there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.